Well, it happened in January, in the beginning of January. Um, actually, it was the day she closed on a brand new house. That evening, she was um, in the bathroom with her granddaughter, combing her hair, and just passed out. Stroke was terrible. I could move, I could walk, and couldn't talk. Couldn't speak, nothing. She was in rehab for approximately two weeks where they were teaching her how to walk again. It was a difficult experience for the family as well as for her, the frustration when she couldn't think of a word. You know, she would just get frustrated. So she was, she was kind of lost, captured in her own, her own body, pretty much. Um, at that point, we researched stem cell therapy and decided, you know, we should give that, give that a shot, read a lot about it. Um, and we found NSI stem cell, and we took her, I think it was in March. When it comes to um, Adele, and when we first uh, met with her, she was about six to eight months post-stroke, uh, and she had just gotten out of rehab, and um, you know her family was very motivated to make some change with her, and they elected to do stem cell therapy with us. So we brought her in, and we harvested stem cells directly from her body. We isolated them on her behalf, and then we made the injections. Uh, it's an intrathecal injection, as I described. When we apply stem cells for brain tissue or for central nervous system, the important thing to understand is that it's too risky to inject above the L2 level. In Adele's case, because of the extensive brain damage that she suffered as a result of her stroke, um, we wanted to get as many stem cells into brain tissue as we possibly could. So we took this route in terms of an intrathecal injection. And the reason why is because it's safer to inject in the lumbar spine where there's no sensitive neurological tissue that we risk injuring. And that's what we did with Adele so that we can deliver the dose of stem cells directly to brain tissue. And with her, we saw some dramatic improvements right after even the first dose. Um, she was immediately able to, you know, hold a conversation. Uh, she was immediately able to um, interact with her family and remember, you know, her family members, which was really kind of a, an amazing thing. I was impressed. Um, I, I didn't, you know, I, I knew it might work, but I never thought to that degree. And it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Within two weeks, she was actually speaking better, remembering, walking better. Now walking with a walker, much long distances. Um, she definitely communicates better. Um, she remembers everything, you know, that happened. And her neurologist, when she first came out of this, told me that she would never remember anything. She would never learn anything. And he didn't see any positive outlook or prognosis at all. With the stem cells, it got so much better. I could speak, I could walk. It's wonderful. If I didn't get that, I don't know what I would do. I feel great. I feel great. I, I go out, I, I go to casinos, I go everywhere now. It's like I couldn't do nothing, nothing. NSI. Helped me a, a thousand times better. I couldn't be walking, I couldn't be doing anything. What we've been able to um, provide for her is nothing short of amazing, and it makes us all, you know, that's the reason why we get out of bed in the morning, that's the reason why we do what we do, is to help individuals on that level. Um, what's important to understand is, you know, we didn't do the work. You know, at the end of the day, the stem cells that are present in our bodies are very powerful and they do have the ability to heal and regenerate tissue. And our job is simple. Our job is to obtain those in abundance and apply them on the patient's behalf in an effort to heal and in an effort to achieve health. And that's what we did with her. Uh, and that's what we do with all of our patients.